It's the first festival of the year, or at least it usually is. And this is really exciting for us, because it's the start of festival season, baby! Slam Dunk's a pop punk and alternative festival that we've been going to now for almost a decade. <laughs> It runs across two days with one day up in Leeds and then the other day is somewhere else. Where is it? Down south, somewhere near London. Yeah, that place. Yeah, yeah. So join us as we get drunk and rock out to celebrate the start of the UK festival season. This is The Real Deal. Hello. Today is unofficially the first day of our summer. This marks the start of basically non-stop summer for us. It's literally going to be non-stop. And I'm already tired. Oh yeah, it's me. I'm okay. I'm working. We're going well, one. Tell you what's worse than that really long queue there for Yumi at Six Merch. In fact, I filmed it in Port and Vision. I'm sorry. There's the sun. Are you actually vlogging this? Yeah. Oh, this is a shitty event. Don't vlog this. Why don't you worry about Well, the thing is, things. Bob's not drinking his drink. Because uh, I don't succumb to peer pressure. And I certainly don't do. Ooh, what, uh, ooh, have, so, this have this sig, Rob. Ooh, this I'm a man, fan. This have this man. sig. This man's only just getting big enough for his boots now. And he's trying to put a camera in my face. And guess what? Are you kidding? How much that? 150 <laughs> quid, you heard the gents. We're not really here for you, at six. We're just here for the environment. You know what? I always remember when he wore that jacket before you. He never wore it before me. That's an old meme! The issue is I could eat. I want it all cause she is the one. Her mum calls me dad, her dad calls me son, alright. We had a good time. It's been a time. Good afternoon, welcome to night two of summer. Today we're off to two gigs and doing a DJ set for Slam Dunk. Last night was pretty good. Um, we saw Yumi at six and didn't pay a second of attention because me, Bridie and Raz were all arguing throughout, so that was funny. I'm ready for another gig, sir. I can't wait. Get me a dark fruits in my belly. Now, have we ever been? Have we ever done this before? What? Have we ever been to, gig? Yeah, to we've two done. different gigs in one night? And I don't think we have, even though we've we done have. this a lot. Well, I don't know who the fucking music are, but I have used their bass pedal to record some drums 11, 12, 13 years ago. But this is a much better vibe than yesterday. Look it's at this. Fucking well busy. That was one of the worst trips to the toilet I've ever made. Why? Because you didn't pull up your a zipper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I go in there and my nose is blocked as fuck. And I'm sniffing to try and think it. But there's a cleaner in there, so cleaner thinks I'm having some monster munch, which puts me on edge already. And the real reason I went in there was because. I didn't know whether or not I shit my pants because <laughs> since we've been sat here, I did a ma massive fart. Like alive. the one you did in the uh, elevator? <laughs> yeah, and my ass has felt weird since. So I was like, right, I can either, I can either not check and it's like shrouding as shit. And I don't know, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. And I'll keep thinking maybe I have, and then I'll forget about it. Or I can check and if I have, shit my pants then the night's ruined <laughs> but if I haven't then it's a big relief anyway I hadn't shit my pants so it was all good in the end to all the American people that have joined our channel this is what a British festival looks like I've got so much gastric band Gastric no, band. what Look, do they call it? Acid, acid reflux. reflux. Acid reflux. Oh man, I want, I want some music merch. What are you gonna What are you gonna pick that out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna the bucket out of the t-shirt. Oh, it's three pound a t-shirt though. Ah, oh, we need to go home. So we've just watched Cribs, right? Which you've just seen. I'm gonna go back to the flat. I'm gonna have a quick outfit change. You're gonna walk into this fucking barry in a second. I'm not gonna do shit. Remember, we got the merch coming out tonight. What time? Midnight. So it's tomorrow. Shut up. Let's make a deal. I love deals. When we get in tonight, hammered. Yeah. If it's still there. If what's still there? We'll nick that. What are you doing? Having a piss. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? One life flows, yeah, I got some of those. <laughs> what about that spit that just came in your mouth there? It's my bathroom. There was a mushroom in here. Hey! hey. What are you up to, man? Are we ready to go to the gig? I'm not off to the gig. What are you doing? I'm going to cook a nice stir fry for Chucky and me to get fueled up, ready for the DJ set. Oh, right. 
Should we go get cunted? Different strokes for different blokes, eh? Ah, he loves a good stroke, doesn't he? We've never done a DJ set that's not yeah, a Leeds Fest. <laughs> Honest, literally, this is the, about the sixth fucking sneeze you've had in a row. Yeah, What's going on? I'm allergic to pussies. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you're something dick. Why are you dressed like wrapping paper? Uh, what, if you're trying? <laughs> What's going on, Raz? Just checking out the stains on my 12-year-old MacBook Pro. Yeah? yeah? Oh, it's almost ready for you to shag, then. Shut up. I've actually ripped the, dis the disc wrap. <laughs> I need a pint, I don't know yeah. about you. Have you had a old drink already? Yeah, I've had a couple of rum and cokes, mate. Should we go in? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. guess we will. Okay, Let's well. do it. <laughs> What's happening here, Jay? Why, why have they put a shutter over the bar? Because we are too hardcore that we just drink in the bar dry. So That's not it, though, it. is it? Well, it literally is. We've drunk the bar dry. They've got no more beer left, so they're having to close because we're that cunty. Well, that's not a beer. That's a cider. Beer and cider. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you want your jacket hanging up? Oh, you know what, mate? I'd love it. Oh, no worry about I'll hang your jacket up. No oh, problem at all. What a gentleman. My pleasure. Where are you going to put it? Oh, I'll, I'll put it on the rack for you. Oh, oh, put it on here, mate. All right, what, what was the number again? There you go, mate. It's hung up for you. Oh, thank you, Jay. Pleasure, what a boy. Mate. What a boy Marley is. Gonna keep that. Go. We've never had a dressing room before, so we're gonna really quickly make use of everything in here. I'm gonna sit down on this sofa. Whoa! Whoa! Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on this chair. Someone's at the door. I just wanna get this on the camera because I'm in a room right now with a shower in it. And we do a lot of festivals, but this is the first time that I've been looked after to this extent, and I really appreciate it. And we're on in 10 minutes for our DJ set, but I'm half tempted to just turn on the shower so I've had a shower in a venue. Thanks so much, slam dunk. Rob's like, oh, I don't want you to go on stage on your own. You know, it's like the lead, lead singer comes on after all the band and like everyone cheers and it's not about that. But let me tell you what's about to happen. I'm about to walk on stage. No one's going to give a shit. But I'm about to walk on like this with my 19 inch laptop bag in hand. Like, who the fuck has a 19 inch laptop these days? No you didn't even have a 9 inch anything. Shut up. pretty good and now we've got a merch drop that i'm already two hours late to enabling so let's get home and get this merch drop sorted raz get what the merch drop sorted oh yeah <laughs> bingley mega, mega chippy bingley mega chippy and fuck you danny what you should be fucking danny cunt danny fucking cunt danny fucking cunt we can't wait to see you all very, very soon for what will be an amazing summer that we're going to have. It is... Uh, guys, what time is it? Shut up! What time is it? It's time to shut up the phone. Jane, no, no, what time is it? Is it your time? Ten, seven minutes to three. It's seven minutes to three and the trolley's still here. Fresh of the day, but at least one of us is. <laughs> it's not daisy season. I am so fucking hungover today, and Jay Valley rushed me out of bed, and I got ready in two minutes, and then he spent an hour getting ready, and I'm really fucking annoyed by it, G. Let's go to Binley's Mega Chippy one day. It's in Coventry, mate. It's yeah, miles but it'd away. just be fucking stupid. And well, let's not give them any more free press. Well, here we are at the first UK festival of the year. It's the real deal. Ring the guest bar, it's lovely. They got old <laughs> moot here instead of the Strongbow Dark Fruits. It's, uh, it's lovely, it's a lovely sunny day. Dear? Dear? Do you know what I'm fucking Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. If you need a ticket for today, by the way, let me know because we've got seven spare by accident. 
I know the timing might not work out without, but just let me know. I'm gonna see Kenny Hoopla at the rock scene tent, I think. That one over there. Just like a dead man, like a dead man, say on this journey now for me for a long time this might be the worst sick I've ever had in my life weakling he's weak he can't hack it he's 30 now he can't hack it yo we're not gonna fight we're just a fight bring it up bring it up we've told slammed up like we want to show people what the festival's really like that's our whole thing and here's me laid on floor in guest area. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll do better. And they called it. It's like being at Coachella, but not as expensive. And weather shit. It's all right, actually. Yeah, it's actually nice weather. Quite a nice day. Quite a nice place. Uh, I lied to you all. Fuck you. It's YouTube. We do what we want. Oh, are you all right? I'm a little bit drunk. Oh, my God. It's been a while. It's been it's about. Been a while. It's been about a year and a half. Yeah, do you know what, Dan? We're all proud of you. Suck my cock. Welcome to the real deal. We've been in a guest area all day. And now it's, we're about to see the now, first band. A headliner. I know we haven't vlogged much today, but next week, tonight has been incredible. And if, if you see a ginger cunt in the background, ignore him. God, that was so good! Fucking Neck Deep, man, was so good! A few years ago, I saw Neck Deep play Slam Dunk, and I somewhat controversially said on the curb outside the venue that they were the best band I'd seen. Neck Deep was the best band that weekend. And I need, to, I need to sleep on this, but here's my opinion of the set I've just seen. That might be the best fucking gig I've ever been to. And as someone who's not a monstrous Neck Deep fan, that was incredible. Let, let, let me tell you something. I've seen Neck Deep six times. I went into that thinking, yeah, I like Neck Deep, I'll just go. And I have had the best experience I've ever had at Slam Dunk in my life. I love children in need. Do you know what I also love? What? Hey. Red, Red Nose Day. Yeah. I love Red Nose Day. Red Nose Day is one of my other favorite holidays. Yeah. So first it's big, now it's red. Perfect. Big Red Nose Day. Yeah. Big Red Nose. You How many know, times you... you... We'll edit that. We'll edit that. Fuck the Queen. Yes. Fuck the Queen. Fuck Am the I right? Queen. Yeah. If you want to say fuck the Queen, press thanks down below. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm calling some boy one out right now. You're a headline act. Stop playing other cunts' fucking songs. You're there because of you, yourselves. Don't bother playing other, other shit. Fuck some 41. They're boring as fuck. How you doing? I'm great, mate. What about you? I'm good. Oh, we're, we're definitely not meant to be here. Of course just, we are, mate. We're no. TPDT. I mean, I wandered behind it. I, <laughs> was, I was joking about that.
Tonight has been good. It's been really good. Slam dunk, it's been a pleasure. Good night. Oh, good. No, of course. Yeah, relax. Test drive is not in it, even in here. So, me and Vals are just walking back with the Mackies. <laughs> and we, there's a guy in a car, and he starts shouting something, you're thinking, oh, do you insult maybe the hair, maybe your beard, or whatever. And he just goes, you keep doing what you want. You've got a fucking 12 inch cock sunshine. And we were like, what a weird insult compliment. You never get that. Welcome to the real deal where we go to festivals, spend all day in the guest area, and then stand on stage with Zoe London and showing you what things are really like. We're going to have a better day today in that regard. We're going to film a lot more and we're going to show you a bit more of the real deal. Valley's feeling ready to go. I'll tell you what's funny. Ran over to Ben from Neck Deep yesterday, was like, let me get you a drink. Turn around, it wasn't Ben from Neck Deep, it was just some random guy, I had to buy him a drink. <laughs> Ready for a drive to oh, London? My favourite, the M1. You, <laughs> you got the postcode? Nope. I'll send you a you Right, let's go. You have a good day yesterday? Are you talking to me? Yeah, there's a camera pointing at you. <laughs> we need to do some vlog, we forgot. Do you know they make Barocca in drinks now? Can't park there, sir. Finley mega chippy. <coughs> it's not on roll. I was pissing then, and I thought I'd shit myself. I was pushing. I almost shit myself a lot, man. Uh, she's a lucky lady. <laughs> what your mum? That's not the sign I thought it was. We're rock stars. <laughs> Control your... yourself. He's fucking gorgeous. I know I am, mate, but let me have a moment, please. You, you big oh, come here from Chip Tooth, Look at man. Captain Sexy on stage. I'm not on stage, <laughs> exactly, mate. That's I'm not what I'm on saying. stage. Look over there. Danny. Danny. Oh, it's not, yeah. it's, not, it's not Danny. It's not Danny. Every lie you said to me, I hope you move out of this. This lad looks like he's mates with Machine Gun Kelly, and I don't like that. So, do you know, we just went to see that mod son. And it was fucking great. Was, mm, it was great. I'm pretty fucking impressed. We're off to see a band now that's had a lot of noise made about them. They're called Electric Cowboy. But I don't think they've always been called that. I think they were called something else. And now they're called something different. But I don't really know. Are you but still fucking talking? I'm trying to make a video, mate. Shut up. We're here to make a fucking video. We'll talking. Stop it. Me talking gets you that wristband, you silly cunt. I spoke for this wristband. <laughs> Electric cowboy different. Uh, yeah, quite. They're all right. A bit heavier than I I, I was saying, I, like, I thought they were like. I like, thought they were going to be very memey. Yeah, and then Ch um, Jake thought they were like bad boy chiller crew. And I mean, I was kind of a quarter right. It's time for some food, and my favourite food place from 2000 Trees is here. So I'm very excited about that. One of the best things about 2000 Trees. Once again, we talk about 2000 Trees is this place and it's here now so now we get to have it here look how fucking nice that looks the bottle's blocked i'll leave that as someone else's problem so there's a craft beer bar at download slam dunk that's where we are slam dunk Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Dom. I'm Rob. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your vlogs. You're going to be in stuff. one now. I appreciate the kind words. So anyway. there's a craft beer bar here, and me and Raz love craft beer. Yeah. So we're going to go see what they've got and try a real nice crafty that beer. Oh, it does. Let's have a look. Ooh, I like the look of the sugar soap. Why is it like a craft beer bar? Love a craft beer, beer especially with. Is it, why is it such a small craft beer? It's the finest craft beer. Do you know what I like even more than craft beer? Oh. Really fast and good service. <laughs> and asking for a bottle of coke four times. And then we're still pushing as well. To Jack. Love you, bro! For some reason, this what? is the first time this has ever happened. I actually do want to go in my hole. Yeah, first time it's ever happened. Jake Valley struggled getting some in his hole. Oh, 
Uh, my back's aching, so I'm going to get Sam to crack it for me. Sam's a lovely boy. stressed out when nothing's going wrong look at the state of my hair i'm sorry we've not really got a lot of footage like something when we go to festivals i always really stress out you you know i was just saying i'm a stressful guy and, and i am not stressful <laughs> i stress out is what i mean anyway so i'm always like really conscious like we haven't got a lot of footage so hopefully this video turns out all right the good thing is we've got a few other events to pad it with in case we don't have enough footage but sorry if I didn't film enough. I think there's a band on. There's a band on over there. Well, I tried to see some bands today. Unfortunately, I just love hanging out with my friends. And that's good enough reason to come to Slam Dunk. My hair looks fucking atrocious. Raz, does this count? Set them up. Just set them up. Just set them up. This is fucking awesome. This is so fucking good. What? Well, it took all my confidence to come back here today as a classic imposter and you know what it's like, but that was fucking excellent. And then Gev Ben from Neck Deep, big hug as he came off stage. And, oh, it was just, do you know what, mate? That was good. It was totally different to yesterday, but in, in many ways it was better. And that's my friend, Sam, who's cool. Yeah, I've got friends other than you, Dan. I've got other friends. The real deal. Look at me at VIP. Look at me at Yes, I'm not the real deal in 30 seconds. Let's go. I've been trying to do normal person you know stuff. What? I'm not but gonna unfortunately, lie. all my friends are very important. Let's be honest here. The real deal. We've got ours on. We really want there, so it's a real deal. Do you know what? We did the real deal in 2007. Guys, we are in the location now. Pan across there, you can see. 70,000 people. All right, so don't at me, Danny Y, you I've dickhead. I've been to Boardmasters 2014, so Snoop Dogg, where have you been? The best thing about this as well is I, I'm, I, I get to miss some 41 again. I'm also part of the team. Real deal. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even allowed cans. 
I'm having a good time in here. This has been good. I'm sorry I'm shit at vlogging now. I used all my energy on Coachella, but this is fucking great in here. God, I know we're at a pop punk festival, but I didn't expect to... <laughs> that means no. Good. Don't do it. No, because you're going to rub it in my Look, I know you've had a lot of fun tonight. But you're, you're being in a. Have a drink. Someone get this guy out of guest area. He'd get out of the guest area if you drink out of his hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I hate it when mum and dad fight. <laughs> well, folks, this has potentially been the least real deal festival we've ever been to. This is. This is. But the good thing is, you've experienced it through people who are used to the real deal. So, this has been. You've experienced all the novelty with us. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching The Real Deal. We're about to get on a tour bus to the after party. So, um, fuck you. Remember, never forget I'm better than you all. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the venue. <laughs> Way funny. It's, it's, like we're... <laughs> it's like we're on a fucking school trip, man. It's like we're on a fucking school trip. Oh, I love Lights Water Valley. Where's the teacher? Where's the te Oh, you got water? I don't know if we got any vlog on that journey. But that was so fucking good. That was so sick. I don't know if you know this. I went to Coachella. And this is the kind of vodka Red Bull you get at Coachella. Let me show you a vodka Red Bull you get in England. This is a double vodka Red Bull. Look at the fucking size of that, man. The slam that the dad at the party is dead as fuck. It is mental. There is, there's fucking no one here. What is going on? Why is it so empty? It's booking an Uber. Why, Why are you booking an Uber? Oh, to a hotel. Of sorts. Yeah. Flat surface that one can lay on. Yeah, I reckon so. Um, there's there's maybe two half beds. Well, where are we going? Where are we going after? Just 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 remember, take your shoes off in the back of my van. It'll be a cheap night because because we're, we're not staying in the hotel. We're, we're staying in my van. But it won't be cheap because the Why? Uber to get there costs as much as a fucking hotel. Oh. Oh, that's, my, that's my first party. Here it comes. In the, right. in the Toyota Prius, the chariot that will take us somewhere near the van, but not to the van, I guess. Oh, yeah. It won't. Oh, that's going to be awful. Yeah, You're right. Really you know, this might end up being the most real deal video we've ever actually made because this is awful. where all the cars were, or was it? And the nominees are... That might be the worst rain I've ever fucking experienced in my life. Jesus. Normally, in a situation like this, we would really milk it for some good content. But this is such a shit situation to be in right that i don't even have the energy to try and pretend he's like... naked in the back of my van under some cardboard we literally dosed around la and saw people outside the fucking what's it called the thingy hotel the uh sea the uh, cecil the cecil hotel they were living better than this so i know you all want to see like oh it's all gone wrong but this has gone so wrong that I don't even have the capacity. So I'm gonna now sleep on this hard floor. Good night, Raz. Good night. Oh, this is so awful. This is 
This is. Well, we haven't seen it yet. This and your this quilt is like one millimeter thin. And the nominees are good fucking night. Good morning. Oh. You've not seen us in a while. In his nose, big. What? Your nose is quite big. My nose is yeah. not fucking big at all. It is. It's like Kelsey's. Shut up. Um, we're we're, we're somewhere. We're in London. We're in London somewhere. We're in a hotel Razzie bug that could only fit two of us. It's got a burger place in it though. It's got what? A burger place in it. Oh, yeah, it does have a burger place in it. Um, as I'm sure you guys have probably seen it, Rob and Riles went to the after party, probably had a lovely time. Probably not. Well, you, you never know. I, I kind of know what after parties are like and they're always shit. <laughs> Yeah, but it is Robin Rouse, anything could happen. But they went back to Hatfield, they went back to the van. So they're currently 45 minutes away, 20 odd miles away. We're in the arse end of London somewhere. I don't know why I said arse end, because it's literally central London. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're currently running on very low battery, physical and mental and fun. Um, so we're having to try and find some juice, literal and fun and then just try and work out what's going on. We've got the, we're, so weirdly enough, we're staying in a hostel today, right? We're actually presenting an award tonight at the Heavy Music Awards. Um, so we've got a red carpet event and everything like that tonight, but you wouldn't really believe it right now, would you? <laughs> because they're still at the van and we've had a breakfast, we've had a coffee he's got in his hand. He's had his dinner, his breakfast stolen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a different story. Yeah, we'll tell you in a minute. Because we've got nothing else to do, we've got three and a half hours to wander around London. We're off to Marble Arch. Yep. Why is it famous, Jake? Um, because back in the 1700s, they used to hold the World Championship of Marbles there. So they used to play it under the archway, so hence why it's called Marble Arch. Out here at the world famous Selfridges, made famous back in 1902 for being the first place to ever sell fridges. Uh, that's why they've kept the name. But Mr. Fridge himself, he invented them back in 1901. Uh, this was a story he came to. He thought, fuck me, that looks warm. And as you can see, guys, this is where the world famous Monopoly challenge thing that we did finished we were just here talking nonsense so this is william pitt you can see there he was born and he later died uh he was an absolute gentleman he loved capes he was a fine portrayer of capes and it turns out he's related to bradolf pitler which is amazing. So. One of the most iconic uh, structures you have is Big Ben. But the thing is, no one ever talks about his little brother, little Larry. Um, I'm currently telling you it's 12 o'clock, and I can assure you now it's not 12 o'clock. Oh, boys, make room. Come on. Cheers, mate. All right, how are we doing? Anyway, so this is my boy Winston. It's not a race to be all right. Fucking weird, though. Uh, this is my boy Winston, my boy Rosie. Uh, you know what we do? We fuck up World War II, we drop bombs, fuck birds, and just get down, you know? Speaking of dropping bombs. Are you need any shit? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. So we're actually currently outside the Ritz Hotel. Originally built in 1842 for the Mr. Ritz, who obviously created the Ritz Crackers. Um, he was in London at the time and needed somewhere to stay, but couldn't find somewhere. So I actually found this building and just converted it into a hotel. And now it's obviously one of the most famous hotels in the world. Morning, Raz. Oh, that was fucking horrible. Good morning. Ready to present an award? Yeah. I don't even think I can do it. I think we'll get Dan to do it. All my clothes are soaked still. Jeans. One, only got one pair of jeans here. Soaking wet. Only brought one pair of socks. Soaking wet. I need to be sick. Would you like to be sick out there, sir? <laughs> it's too cold to open that bit. I really don't know how the fuck I'm going to do downloading four days. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, give me good news. I really need some good news right now. I feel a little bit better. Right. What's the bad news? A load of blood just came up. broken. I'm so truly broken 
in this pursuit of trying to live fast. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's lovely to see you all again, boys. Well, I can confirm the carpet does look pretty red to me. I think it's just the room that's red and that's white. Maybe. Daniel, I know we said we were going to bring our yobbish behaviour, but I didn't expect you to pour your fucking beer all over the floor. I didn't. I accidentally knocked it over. Well, what? Look, this. You can't see it on camera, but there's a lot of beer on the floor there. It's none. If you can't see it on camera, there's no beer on the floor. We're never going to get invited back if you keep pouring beer on no, the floor. No, we'll just move away. Good point. Someone else. Raz did it. Do you know what? Raz did do it. Fucking none. random one but I kind of need to say this at least on camera so that I can take accountability for it and stop it happening in the future um, the main reason I've not gone to the heavy music awards is because I had a bit of a breakdown um, like yesterday and today and just the stress just mounted up like so much um, and you know knowing that i'm at download in like three days and that's a monster job um and then you know going around like slam dunk and, and trying to trying to show off as much as possible while also trying to enjoy yourself but also making sure that it's not like hindering anyone else's experience it's it's it was it was tough and i was inside my own head a lot yesterday and I just got to a point where I kind of like snapped and I was very like, I was very rude to some people that uh, are very important to me and I'm pretty ashamed of it, to be honest. And I think it's good that even though I've got major FOMO now, I think it's good that I haven't gone to the Heavy Music Awards because I need some time to just be away from that scene, the music industry to just kind of do a bit of reflection. And I've done that and things are all right, like make no mistake, but I just could have been a bit of a better person yesterday, I think. I let the stress get on top of me. And I've spoke to a few people today. I've reached out for advice. We're human, right? We we do things, but I, th I think that, I just wanted to say this on here because then I'm kind of making it known that I did that. And then hopefully that's gonna make sure that I never do that ever again. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. I just need a rest. And the good news is now I've had today and I'm having today and tonight to rest. Anyway, I've rambled, but yeah, truly humbled to be in the circles that I'm in and to have these experiences. And I certainly don't take any of it for granted. Um, but yesterday, I think I kind of did take it a bit, a bit for granted. But yeah, anyway, we move. Let's go back to the fun over there. <laughs> of this place, the HMA 22 Innovation Award winner is Wild Chi Su! It's like quite, quite chill and like, like or, at least, or at least up here it is. Just sit here, have a drink, watch an award show. And then it's like, oh yeah, there's some bands as well that are quite good. Um, hold on, I'm since they're about to come on, and I like a few of their songs. And we saw them the other day, but I couldn't fucking hear them because it was at the fucking slam dunk site, and yeah, that's some bullshit, but now I'm gonna really enjoy them. We need to, you need to act cool as fuck, you need to act like yeah. a horse, This isn't the reaction you want, you want to know what it's really like. We're meeting fucking famous people. 
they know who we are for some fucking unknown reason. I couldn't go see my, my one of my favourite bands because I'm too famous. What the fuck? Shut, shut up. Don't. Listen, you wanted the real deal. This is the excitement it brings me. Fuck off. It sounds like Kellis, doesn't it? <laughs> heard it all before. Eh? That's an immediate review of the Heavy Music Awards. That was excellent. Every part of that was excellent. The whole like red carpet thing that we got to experience was excellent. But even, even and, and the presenting awards thing was excellent. But even just as a punter, as pain to come to it, down there looked fucking sick. Uh, the bands were incredible. Uh, and the awards ceremony attached to it uh, was also a great addition. You should come next year. So there you have it, Slam Dunk 2022 and some other bits as well. Um, not the most cohesive vlog we've ever put out and I'm very aware of that, but hopefully you enjoyed it in maybe a different way. Um, I've now got to figure out how the fuck I'm going to do Download Festival in like one day. My room's a shit tip, everything's a mess and I'm really just not on top of stuff. So I'm going to try and get on top of stuff. But before I do that, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to... The slam dunk guys and girls who made that weekend so good. And to Dave at the Heavy Music Awards, I'm gutted that I wasn't there, but the event looked sick. Everyone's doing some great work and it was fantastic. And most of all, big thanks to my boys for still being this interesting at almost really late 20s. Some of us are in our extra late 20s. I'm 2010 right now. Figure that one out. Right. See you at download. Goodbye.